Vishnuvardhana Kannada, Vishnuvardhana R, CE was a king of the Hoysala Empire in what is today the modern state of Karnataka, India. He ascended the Hoysala throne after the death of his elder brother Veera Balala I in c.1108. Originally a follower of Jainism and known as Bidhi Deva, he came under the influence of the Hindu philosopher Ramanujacharya, converted to Hindu Vaishnavism and took the name, Vishnuvardhana. Vishnuvardhana took the first steps in creating an independent Hoysala Empire in South India through a series of battles against his overlord, the western Chalukya king Vikramaditya VI, and the Chola Empire to the south. He recovered parts of Gangavadi province modern southern Karnataka from the hegemony of the Cholas in the Battle of Talakad, and parts of Nolambavdi. According to historian Coelho, the Hoysalas gained the dignity of a kingdom due to the efforts of Vishnuvardhana, whose rule was packed with glorious military campaigns. According to historians Sen, Chopra et al., and Sastri, Vishnuvardhana was a great soldier and an ambitious monarch. Hoysala literature in the Kannada language began to proliferate under the patronage of Vishnuvardhana. The mathematician Rajaditya wrote Vyavaharaganita and Lilavati on mathematics. According to the historian E.P. Rice, the epic poet Nagachandra was under Vishnuvardhana's patronage when he wrote the earliest extant Ramayana a Jain version in the Kannada language called Ramachandra Karita Purana, and an epic on the 19th Jain Tirthankar titled Malanathapurana. Conquests <inaudible> Wars in the south Vishnuvardhana was the governor over parts of Gangavadi during the rule of his elder brother Veera Balala I. After ascending the Hoysala throne, his first major conquest was that of the occupied Chola territories of Gangavadi in c.1116. According to the historian Kamath, the disgruntled Chola governor Adagaman may have helped Vishnuvardhana in his conquest. Being a Vaishnava Hindu by faith, the Chola governor may not have been treated well by King Kulathunga Chola I. Betsastri claims Vishnuvardhana overwhelmed Adagaman before gaining his support. By c.1117, Vishnuvardhana defeated the other rulers of the Nilgiri region, such as the Chengalvas, the Kongalvas, resulting in his marriage to the Kongalva princess Chandaladevi, according to historian Darat, and the Nidigal Chola ruler Irakavela. According to Kamath, Vishnuvardhana's forces marched as far as Kanchi. The Nolambas of Nolambavadi, Kadambas of Banavasi and Goa ruled by Jayakeshi II, the Pandyas of Uchchangi a small dynasty of rulers near the Tungabhadra, the Alupas of Talunadu, and the Santaras of Hosagunda had to pay tribute and accept Vishnuvardhana as their overlord. Hoysala inscriptions of the period note Vishnuvardhana's conquest of the Nilgaras. The Chamarajanagara inscription gives details that his armies crossed the Nila Mountains and proclaims him the ''Master of Kerala''. According to the historians Chopra, Ravindran and Subramanian, other records mention his temporary stay in Kanchi after his victories over the Cholas. Vishnuvardhana was responsible in part for the disruption to the Chola Empire. With these victories, Vishnuvardhana assumed the titles Talakaduganda Lord of Talakad, and Nolambavadi Gonda Lord of the Nolambas. <laughs> Wars against the Kalyani Shalukas After his successes in the south, Vishnuvardhana swiftly turned north with the intention of breaking free from his overlord, the great western Chalukya king Vikramaditya VI. Between c.1117 and c.1120, Vishnuvardhana successfully dealt with the Chalukyan armies at Kanagala c.1118, occupied a strategic fort at Hanagal, defeated the Chalukyan commander Bapana at Halar c.1120, and spread his control over the Banavasi and Humasha regions. By c.1122, he had reached the Krishna River. Here he was defeated by the powerful Sinda chief Achugi, a commander loyal to the Chalukya emperor. Vishnuvardhana thus had to accept, for the time being, subordination to the Chalukya throne. But he was not to be subdued for long. After the death of Vikarmaditya V, the Hoysala monarch recaptured Hanagal, Uchchangi and Bankapura by c.1140 and marched north of the Tungabhadra river up to Lakundi. 
The historian Majumdar claims Vishnuvardhana controlled areas in the Krishna River region even around c.1131 and performed the prestigious Tulaparusha ceremony, a symbol of sovereignty, despite his nominal subordination to the Shalukas. Historians are divided over the year when Vishnuvardhana died. Sastri, S.K. Iyengar and Desai are of the opinion he died in c.1152. But Kamath claims there is evidence the Vishnuvardhana died a little earlier because the Yaladahali record of c.1145 proclaims his son Narasimha I the Hoysala monarch. Architectural legacy Vishnuvardhana was a great builder. To celebrate his success against the Cholas, he built the Kirthi Narayana Temple at Talakad, and the spectacular Vijayanarayana Temple at Bailur also called the Chenakasava Temple, dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu. Around the same time, the Hoysalaswara Temple, more ornate than the one at Bailur and dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva was consecrated. The temples of Bailur and Halebidu are a proposed UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Within the Chenakasava temple complex is the smaller yet ornate Kap Chenagaraya temple built by Vishnuvardhana's noted Queen Shantaladevi. <laughs> Notes <laughs>